Hello everyone, welcome to a new tutorial that I'm bringing you today. This is how to install or and set up um, Open Broadcaster software for live streaming and recording. And it says it here, um, Open Broadcaster software, open source software for live streaming and recording. And I use this for live for both. Um, I live stream to Twitch as well as use it for recording because I think it's it's a really really good recording software. So. Um, if this link will be in the description, um, obsproject.com, all you have to do is uh, just click on that link and follow this tutorial. So obviously you want to go and click download, um, it will take you to another web browser uh, page and it will start to download automatically. But when this, I've already got this so you don't really need that. So you can obviously uh, download that, install that as usual like a normal setup. So once you've done that. Right, what you want to do is you want to go ahead onto your uh, software itself and it'll come up something like this. This bit won't be here, this is just my personal settings. So, what you want to do is you want to go into settings anyway. Um, obviously, you want to set your language, go over to general tab, set your language, uh, set a profile as well. So, now I'm just going to make another one. So, it'll be for um, tutorial, uh, for example. Tutorial. Oh, wow, what the hell am I doing? Tutorial. Um, add. And then, as you can see, I now have three. Um, and what happens with this is um, you can now remove it, you can rename it if you'd like, uh, you can enable cursor over projector, I just leave that all to all to itself. So what you want to go ahead and do now is you want to go on to encoding, um, you want to tick use CBR, uh, my max bit rate is 3500 because that's also for Twitch, so 3500 I believe is around 720 to 1080p uh, quality. Um, enable CBR padding uh, that I believe is already ticked and then the rest you just want to leave uh, audio encoding uh, AAC you can have it as mp3 but I'm not sure how that works so you just have to look that up um, so yeah audio encoding is AAC uh, a bit rate of 128 and a format of 48 kilohertz per sec uh, yeah kilohertz um, I was just about to say per second but it's not uh, for stereo and then you can click apply on that and then OK. Oh, no, 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 don't click OK. Now, what you want to do for live streaming, this is the different bit. I'm just going to go with recording at the minute. So for live streaming, all what you'd have to do is just press live stream and then and then that works. So, but for file output only, which is the way of recording, um, you have to then browse it to a, a file path. Now, mine is obviously on a separate hard drive within my computer um, and a folder with OBS files and then number one and then it will keep going. Um, my start stream hotkey is 12 and then uh, F12 and then so is my stop um, and obviously you can change these just click it and then change it um, but I'm not going to do that because otherwise it will mess with my, my proper recording software so once you've done that you just click apply again and then continue with the video uh, it comes up with your video uh, card here your, your graphics card um, base resolution is your monitor or custom mic this um, this monitor that I'm using is uh, 1080p, so that's going to come up. Now you can downscale this, the video, so you can keep it at 1080p if you, if your computer is good enough. But I downscale mine to 720p because my videos are 720p, so I keep that uh, like so. And then my uh, filter billionaire, uh, billionaire, billionaire, whatever. I keep that. That's just the same there. Your FPS is 30. You can disable the arrow if you're in um, a full screen. Don't do that if you're not. Because otherwise it will make all of this bottom, like all of the taskbar and things like that, look disgusting. So, um, and I, I personally, I don't think that's very good. So, obviously, you want to use um, your audio. You can put your desktop audio. So, what you use to record your desktop. Now, every time I go to record, I set my default um, sound as my speakers, which is my headset that I've got on, which you'll see in a minute, I guess. Um, and the microphone I disable because I'll show you why in a minute. I'll come back to that. Um, but if you don't use a webcam, then you can go ahead and uh, set one of your your things here. So I've got my webcam and then my microphone that I'm using now and uh, stuff like that. So you can use push to talk, which you then click a hotkey and then all the time that you're holding that hotkey, it um, it like does commentary or something like that. And then as soon as you let go, it'll stop uh, displaying the the microphone. Uh, push to delay. I'm not sure what that is. Mute unmic. Uh, mute unmute. Uh, mic hockey. So that will just be uh, you press a button to mute it, and then you press it again to unmute it. Desktop hockey. Uh, that will be for like your original. So this one, like your your actual sounds. Now that will just be the same thing, but for this instead of your microphone. Uh, force microphone. Ex uh, microphone. Ex uh, or auxiliary to. Uh, to mono, I'm not actually sure what that does, so I just leave that unticked. Uh, de desktop boost, uh, mic, aux boost, 
and mic t uh, time offset I just leave them to 110 thank you apply again going to advanced um, now using multi-thread options up op optimization sorry if you have a either like a dual core or a quad core um, processor then go ahead and tick that and then you can leave your um, process priority class you can either put it as idle which is the lowest one normal above normal or high and the higher you see this is what how to explain if I was to put this on high right now my other games that I would to give it because the uh, this the system is then going to give it more priority over everything else um, your games may run uh, less smoothly so I just keep it on normal and then uh, do that so scene buffering time milliseconds just 700 disable encoding whilst uh, or while previewing um, I just leave that unticked um, allow other modifiers on hotkey I just leave that ticked um, the times 264 CPU a preset is very fast um, and obviously the higher you the the, um, the lower down you go I think the bigger CPU like there you go setting this um, higher reduces CPU usage by sacrificing certain aspects of quality so if you was to go on to slower it would then make your it would kill your CPU unless you've got a really really high grade uh, CPU so times 264 encoding profile I keep that as main uh, key keyframe interval uh, interval I believe you have to keep that as two if you're uh, live streaming but it should come up with that as like a warning sign before you live stream um, UCFR um, I keep that ticked custom encoder settings just leave that unticked allow 61 to 120 FPS entry in video settings I leave that unticked because I don't really stream it or record at 60 61 in between 61 and 120 FPS because YouTube just cuts it down to 30 anyway um, and Twitch does allow 60 I guess but then if you're going to use it for YouTube then it'll just be cut down to 30 so it's kind of pointless on my aspect but it could be good for you um, audio force desktop audio to use video timestamps as a base for audio time um, I just leave that unticked global audio time offset millisecond zero uh, use mic QPC timestamps um, I leave that unticked to mic sync fix hack um, I leave that untinked as well and the network bind to interface um, default uh, they just your OPs uh, default uh, automatic low latency mode um, I then leave that unticked latency tuning factor is 20 um, these settings won't be applied until, it just lets you know that these settings won't be applied until the next time you stream so just click apply um, then there's also the microphone noise gate which I believe you could these are like your your microphone levels like your volume levels um, and then you've got enable voice noise gate and things like that but I just leave all of that as normal click OK it takes you back to this screen okay so right what you want to do is this won't be here so this this bit would just be completely empty and so will this so I'm gonna show you one so what you want to do is you want to go and add scene um, you can name this scene as anything so for mine again it's just gonna be tutorial click OK and you've got no sources here at all so if you wanted to add um, I don't know like a game for example you go ahead and find game capture um, enter the name of the game so it could be I don't know um, feed the beast for example um, and then what you do is you say accept uh, select um, application and then there'll be a list of the application you obviously have to have it open but it'd be a list of the application there so you just click that uh, find your application that you want click that I then um, press select image to uh, stretch image to screen and ignore the aspect ratio so it makes it full screen uh, capture mouse cursor I keep that ticked and gamma I keep that like so uh, click OK again so uh, that's actually going to display the web page um, which is pretty cool so then what you want to do is if you want to obviously make an, an image for example you can go ahead and do so so I'm just going to do like Facebook link or something like that. Where is this actually going to take us? Where is this going to take us? Okay, recording. So you want to go over to, um, this is my YouTube thing. So I'll go over to, uh, where is it? Where is it? Backgrounds. And I could do Facebook, my Facebook logo. I could just add that to there. And then this will come up eventually um, when you see it. Now you can preview the stream all the time that you're doing this. And then you can just move the thing. So you can go and edit scene and move it around. You can then do that uh, to make it smaller or something like that. It's just um, so you can put it anywhere. Then obviously the feed the beast thing. I don't think that's really going to come up due to the fact that um, it's a, it's not actually it's not actually up. So um, when is it? When is it? Is that going to be? No, it, it won't come up. So 
that's going to come off, um, and then obviously, but if you were playing a game and it was on in the background, that would come up like, as like a big screen in the background, so go ahead and do that. Then you can move that around, you can make it shorter um, and stuff like that, but obviously you want to keep it full screen if you're going to do a full screen video. Then, um, what you want to do is you can also put links, so you can add uh, text, and then you can add um, Facebook link, for example, click OK. Uh, you can choose change the font, the font size, you can make it a bold, italic, underline vertical, stuff like that. Um, but I just tend to make it bold because it, it's then easier to read. Um, you can use an outline, so if it's if it's a white and you're in like a white game, you can outline it black and then it should come up a little bit better. Uh, you can use the text from files. So you can set up a file of like your link or something like that and then just use the text from there and it'll automatically come up. You just have to browse to that file. Or you can enter the text um, yourself. So for mine, it'll be uh, for my Facebook link, it'll just be facebook.com forward slash crazy gaming. So I just leave it as forward slash crazy gaming um, and then you can drag that, um, make it bigger for example. Let me just give me the option. You can make it bigger and put it wherever you want um, and stuff like that. So you can then put it next to next to the logo you can then change the logo so you just click that and then move it down or something um, like so and then crazy gaming like so like that and then that's all good so then once you've done what you want all you have to do then is you can start streaming right now I'm not going to press this because this would actually make it as a video <laughs> so uh, you can start streaming and it will be making the video or it will be live streaming to you now this will then, I'm going to now show you the live streaming part of it, and it's not really much different, um, but you can set up a new profile if you want, like I have recording and live streaming as my two separate profiles, and uh, the difference is one does file output only, whereas one does uh, live streaming plus it file output, so it's much, much better, um, personally, so, uh, then all you have to do, I believe, is you go into broadcast settings, and you move this to live stream, and then obviously you're going to want to, it will say your streaming service, and it could be any one of these, it could be Twitch, YouTube, um, and any of these other ones that you really want to go, or it can be a custom one. Uh, change your server to where you are around the world, um, your stream key will be automatically within your, your broadcasting software. Uh, also reconnect, so after 10 seconds, or you can actually change this, this could be like a 30 second timeout, then after that it will try and auto reconnect, if it doesn't then it will come off. You can change your delay. Um, which is normal. Then you've got minimize uh, network output. I just leave that unticked. Uh, uh, dashboard link, if any. So for Twitch, it's just that uh, broadcast dashboard. F save to file. Now this would make the video go back to a file path, kind of similar, so you can use the recording again. Now I do this because then I upload the full video to YouTube, or I can edit it down and use like the broadcasting things for YouTube. So I click save to file, um, and then a file path, and then a street uh, a file path. Um, and then obviously the stream hotkey start and stop uh, then you just literally want to click apply um, and ok so now this is the thing now if you didn't uh, do it earlier right this is the thing I'm just going to untick uh, I'm just going to worry where are you on live stream follow up but only and do that so now this is the thing that I was talking about earlier now if you go to audio and this is disabled um, you want to click ok right and you plan on using your webcam audio like uh, from your actual webcam you're gonna see me in a minute um, but click your video capture device um, and then just type it as like uh, webcam or something like that then it'll come up with your device so mine is a Logitech HD webcam C270 uh, you can configure it um, and then that should come up with the actual program itself within it um, you can refresh it if it hasn't come up uh, flip image vertically flip image horizontally the inter uh, the interlacing I just leave it as none use point filtering and opacity um, 100 and pre uh, preserve so uh, source size I just leave all of these unticked custom resolution you can have it a custom resolution if you like but I don't tend to do that I just tend to um, untick it uh, and you can also change the frame rate your uh, use uh, output format and your use uh, buffering and then uh, this is what you want to do so audio input device right this is where the audio comes from the actual uh, camera itself so for me this is where I'd type I'd put the audio where I, what I want uh, so it's got more chance of lining up along with the 
the camera itself. Now that's just personal preference, I'm not sure whether it actually really makes a difference, but this is what I tend to use. I then tend to select the microphone that I want to use. You can configure it as well, and it'll come up with the audio input uh, mixer properties, but you don't really want to do that. Uh, that's if you want to, I guess. Um, output, audio to stream only. Um, I just leave that and so. Uh, you shouldn't really need to change any of this. And then you can chroma key. I'm not sure what that is. So you click OK. And it will come up with me now if I was to press start uh, preview stream. Now, um, now to make this a little bit smaller, you can obviously edit the scene and make it smaller into like a certain corner or something along the lines um, of that. So you can put it there. You can put it down the bottom. Um, you could put it directly in the middle if you like, um, or you could just be really awkward and put it over to one side or something. But it is completely up to you what you want to do with that. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this um, tutorial. If you'd like um, any more stories, let me know in the comment section below of what I, and then I would show, I would let you know if um, I could possibly do the tutorial for you. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Later.